team made up of mostly Adelaide people. Broomball is set to sweep all before it, as Paul Macon found out. <laughs> This is a sport called broom ball. Never heard of it? Well, that's understandable. It is one of the minor sports played here in South Australia. It doesn't get on television very often. But our state is leading the way in this Canadian sport. 14 players of the 31 going to Canada for the world titles are South Aussie. Well, I guess a few of you out there are saying it looks a lot like ice hockey. It does, but with one noticeable difference. You play in sand shoes on the ice uh, instead of using skates. Use a small uh, ball and a paddle-shaped stick, which we call a broom, and bash that around and hopefully score a few goals. Why don't you wear skates you normally do in this sort of stuff? Well, it's designed for those people that uh, don't need to know how to skate. You know, I can't skate for peanuts. So uh, it's, it's a good, good training, good fun game. Do you want it to be more high profile? Would you like it to become better known? Uh, to some degree, I'd like to have a competition here with, say, with, with a couple of leagues, but uh, I don't expect that in the next few years. Uh, maybe 10 years down the track we might get there, but uh, we'll gradually build up the numbers as more and more people become aware of it. This game looks very, very easy. I'm going to go over and be the goalie now. Just have a look how it's done. I wasn't ready. Yeah. You saw my goaling. Uh, can I have an adjudication on that? Uh, pass. Why do people always say that? <laughs> yeah. Give a break a break. Yeah. Peter Marka, Paul Mack, looks like he's a great street sweeper. Mm. Yeah, sand shoes on ice would be difficult. Yeah, keeping a balance. Mm. What do you got for us? Tough game, that. A lot In of sport? sport? Yes, plenty. Been a big weekend. Dave.